Hello my friends and welcome to this club guide for the Masters Division in the Cinco de Mayo tournament. I'm going to describe or try to describe my thoughts in how to play this hole with the clubs that we are able to choose. Um, before we start, if you do want to have any specific training sessions or maybe uh, get some specific text guides or maybe get the text guides before uh, everybody else here in this tournament, check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. So, these holes are not able to practice at any uh, any part of the game because we can't play from the third tee in the regular tour play. So, but we can still practice from the second tee on tour nine and tour eleven to find these holes. So, I think it's time to start hole number one, Milano par four. <coughs> and here we will not be able to reach for the green in one if we're not having some crazy tailwind and also some this uh, power ball. But I think that it's really risky. And uh, we will many times end up into the water. So then I rather take the safe route using a ball with more wind resistance, putting ourselves up to the left and try to ship it in with the thorn or the hornet for an eagle. Hole number two, it's the snipe for the quarterback here for me. Most likely we're going to play with the quarterback depending uh, the wind. If we do have a lot of tailwind, then the sniper is the one that we are going to go with. Otherwise, we go on the fairway. Uh, island there in the middle of the bunkers or we are going to go on the rough on the left side try to get it in this is a very tough hole to play from the 30 as we are not uh, adjusted from the 30 on this hole and we will see many pars on this hole that I'm sure of so get the birdie be happy hole number three the ways is part five also a tough hole from the 30 and we are going to go with of course the drive that uh, gives us the most distance Hopefully we're going to get the, the wind to be able to get over to the fairway straight up. If we're having headwind, we will not in any means be able to reach over. So then we need to go to the right side, try to put ourselves up on the fairway at least, and then go from there to the green. Then the cataclysm could be a good suggestion if you're, an, uh, if you're putting ourselves up short. Otherwise the sniper would work if we are able to reach over to the fairway there on top. Hole number four, the Apocalypse or the Thor's Hammer. Uh, here depends on the wind for me. If we do have some Tailwind, then I would actually consider to go with the Thor's Hammer, depending on how familiar I am with the Apocalypse. The reason the Thor's Hammer is good is because of the amazing backspin. And the thing that we do want here is not that we want to ace this part four, even though it would be hilarious, but we want to be close to the green and ship it in for an eagle. So here it's all down to personal preference. You need to have a driver with some backspin. Uh, to make it stop before the rough on top of the green. Hole number five, here is the sniper. This hole will not change because we will be able to reach on the right side or on the left side, depending on the wind that we do have. Of course, if we do have tailwind, we can try to reach as far as possible using the tailwind on uh, top spin on our club, go on the left side. And otherwise, uh, if we will uh, lay up and then we will have the same type of shot we do have on Rookie, we do have on Pro and Expert as well. And then it's the Sniper all day and every day. Hole number six, Rocket or the Quarterback. Here it comes down to how you want to play this one. If you want to go with Max Backspin, land it on the green, take an easy birdie, then go, go with the Rocket. It, otherwise, I would go with the uh, uh, ball with wind resistance and I would go with the Quarterback lining it up and trying to go for the hole in one this is uh, uh, this is actually a possible hole in one depending on the wind of course but if we do get the wind that we had in the last tournament we had this one which was uh, slightly tailwind to the right and that is a good opportunity with our quarterback have in mind that this ball is affected a lot by the wind and due to the trajectory tra trajectory uh, it's going to be tough to make it stop so rather use uh, one or two bars of backspin more if you do have tailwind Hole number seven, here is the Cataclysm for me, and uh, the reason for that is that we will, some of the times, uh, ending up short on the fairway on top, uh, and then we do want to have the Cataclysm for the green, and to be able to not have to overpower our wood club, because overpower wood club, uh, and when we do have such a little space to aim for, is very, very tough, and this is... Uh, in my opinion, if we do get some side win or some head win on this one, it will be for sure the hardest hole in the whole tournament. Hole number eight, Oasis par three, tough one from the third tee. And then I'm going to go with my sniper. It's going to be a, a sniper with wind, uh, ball, uh, wind resistant ball to try, try to just get this one onto the green. I don't care 
if I end up 5-10 yards from the pin, if I just can have an easy putt for the birdie. Because this is a hole where many people will miss, many people will make a par, so the par 3s in this tournament is very, very tough. Hole number 9, Milano par 5, we end up with a par 5 as normal. I do hope we get some tailwind and we can go full blast with a slow globe or with a berserker. Otherwise, we go on the left side, trying to go as far as possible to give ourselves an open shot for the green and maybe... If we're lucky, make it to drop for an albatross. So, my friends, this was the club guide for the Masters Division in the Cinco de Mayo tournament, starting on Monday, 20, 30th of April. So, if you do have any, if you do have any questions, please pick up in the comment section below, and I will be happy to answer you. Here in the end, I would like to wish you the best of luck in Cinco de Mayo tournament.